So one of my favorite dishes to make, especially here in the late summer, are stuffed peppers. I love them and they're actually very easy. Now I'm going to harvest a lot of things here from my gardens. Um, however, this particular stuffed pepper, you really only need about five ingredients. So uh, while I'm going to add other things from my garden just because I have them, this is really something that is very easy to put together. And so I'll just show you here what I'm getting. I got a few of those Greek tomatoes. You just saw me get those. And then a few of these purple cayenne along with some bay leaves and I'm also making rice which won't be included in this video so some of these um, ingredients that I'm harvesting are actually for the rice and I'm getting a little scallion here along with some of the cilantro I'll just go ahead and pull out the whole root because I'm going to actually end up going over to the river and it'll stay fresher that way if I just pull it out by the root and then so down in the pepper container garden I have some jalapeno peppers these I will use in the rice the rice will actually be in another video and I'll leave a link up here in the corner for you as soon as I get that posted so you can see how I made the rice and then I have these little pimento peppers they are wonderful when they are roasted and then the inspiration for the peppers that I'm doing for you um, are these Spanish mammoth peppers they are very large and so I thought it would be fun to do a Spanish inspired stuffed pepper um, I also need some of these little hot chilies here I love the little red serranos y'all know that these are also for the rice and some for the tomato sauce that I'll make. So out to the river garden at the little square foot garden, I'm picking some of these Jersey Devil paste tomatoes. And in the back, I also have another one of the Spanish mammoth peppers. This one could have used about two or three more days for it to turn bright red, but I'll go ahead and pick it now because I might not be here in three days. I don't live here, so I wanna go ahead and get it for the dish. Also, these peppers actually ripen to red, but they're perfectly okay for me to go ahead and use them at the green stage. And I think some thyme would be nice, and this is for my rice as well. So as I mentioned, you really only need about five ingredients to make these peppers. So you'll want to start by getting some sweet bell peppers that are great for stuffing and some yellow rice like a Spanish saffron rice would be great. Some tomato sauce, you'll need some manchego cheese and some chorizo sausage. Um, and then optional, and I include optional because I have a lot of things in my garden that I want to use in here. And maybe you have some of these in your refrigerator or maybe you have them in your garden. And so some of these things will be great also to put on the peppers. But the main part are just these easy to find five ingredients. I actually get the cheese at Trader Joe's and you will need to grate that. And let's go ahead and get started. So I first want to start by just making a little tomato sauce and so I drizzled it with oil. I drizzled a little garlic and hot chilies as well and basically on the bottom of these little paste tomatoes I'll just cut a little cross section then cut out the top core. go ahead and roast these in the oven while I get the sausage ready and this is a cute little towel I found at a little store here there's nothing that peanut butter and a spoon cannot fix that reminds me of my oldest son he just loves peanut butter and so I decided to go ahead and brown up the sausage out here in the garden so in a really hot skillet I went ahead and removed the casing from the sausage and popped it in here I want to brown it real good so I'm just kind of breaking it up as I cook it because I want it to be um, you know fine crumbles almost like sausage crumbles. Once those were done cooking they looked great had a real nice color on them. I went ahead and removed them to a paper towel so they could drain. And then back in the kitchen I checked on the tomatoes and they were done so now it makes it easy for me to peel off the outer skin and I'll just go ahead and pop these here in the mason jar. I also peeled the little chili peppers and the garlic clove. I took the skin off of the outside of the garlic clove and I also removed the root end of that garlic clove. And I don't want to forget the pan juices. 
This is where a lot of the good stuff is. So I just strained out any seeds that may have dislodged while I was peeling the uh, tomatoes. And I added just a little bit of lime juice along with some salt and gave it a really good blend there with my little stick blender. These little blenders fit perfectly in the wide mouth mason jars not the small mouth so now I'll just make a little sauce with about one cup of the tomatoes and I basically just want to thicken this up by reducing it somewhat and I went ahead and I added some Spanish olives and I just kind of broke those up with my spoon a little bit so I won't have one great big bite of olives when I'm eating my um, peppers or anything and I just let those simmer on low heat for a little while while I got the rest of the peppers ready so I really enjoy taking the long, thin walled peppers and stuffing them. And I do this by cutting them lengthwise. And that way I have a lot of surface area for the um, pepper to kind of brown on the bottom when I am cooking it in the oven. And it really makes it sweet. And then I have a lot of surface area for things like more cheese. So um, cheese is always good, right? So um, the only problem that makes it hard to do this is that sometimes the peppers will not cooperate. They will not lay down flat for me. So I'll, I have to kind of determine how I want to cut it first before I make that cut. So I just kind of see which side is um, favorable for the pepper to lay flat without turning over. So after a lot of little tries here, I finally figured out which way I wanted to slice this pepper. So very carefully, I sliced it right down the middle. And I have to be real careful when I do these kind of videos because if I mess up my cut on this, it's not like I can go out and regrow this pepper. So these are pretty um, stressful videos to do, but they're fun at the same time. So um, now I'm going to do the green peppers as well. I found that this one was extra stubborn. It would not lay flat hardly on any side. So I thought, you know, I'll just go straight down through the middle and I'll just cut off the little stem here. Now this will have to be my um, pepper because I don't want anyone else to uh, have to eat around this so I did clean it up a little bit but that is certainly not something I would want to eat so anyway but it worked out fine they both sat upright perfectly and so I went ahead and salted them in a little baking sheet here and I put them in the oven so that they can kind of soften up a little bit for me first before I stuff them so I just left them in there I guess about 10 minutes or so and then when everything came out I also had put my pimento peppers in there I went ahead and peeled those and then just diced them into very small cubes so now it's time to do the fun part and we can go ahead and assemble the peppers and so I just put a little bit of the cheese down here on the bottom and then put a little bit of rice now certainly you can go ahead and just combine your rice with your tomato sauce and your sausage and then just put them all into your peppers and then top them with some cheese that would be fine so I went ahead and put the sausage crumbles right there on top of some of the rice and then a little bit of the tomato sauce on here I wasn't too sure about the Spanish olives and I actually ended up liking them but my family doesn't really prefer those in here but you know so that's a personal preference and then I put a little bit more rice on there and a little bit of salt and unfortunately I did not have my little uh, mister that I like to use to spray things with when I want to spray olive oil so I'm at the river kitchen and so I didn't have that so I just used your you know a standard can oil spray and I sprayed the top of them and popped them in the oven for about 10 more minutes until all of those ingredients had warmed through I pulled them out and now I want to melt some cheese on top and I didn't include measurements for any of these. I figured if you, maybe you're a vegetarian, you probably want to add a lot more rice. Um, maybe if you're watching what you eat, you might not want to add as much cheese. So that's why I didn't include measurements. Just add more of what you like. And so with the rest of the tomato sauce, I went ahead and added the little Greek tomatoes. Um, I just chopped them up and threw them in here and just let them... Um, release some of that liquid and so I'd have a little bit more tomato sauce and so the cheese had melted wonderfully and I thought I would just finish them off here with a little bit of smoked paprika you know you can't have Spanish peppers without smoked paprika and then I put a little bit of pimentos on here and I popped them back in the oven one more time on broil just to get that cheese melted really good on top maybe give it a little bit of color there and I had to keep my eye on them I almost burned them <laughs> 
and while those were broiling I went ahead and in my plate I put a little bit of the sauce there and I'll just put the peppers on top of there so they turned out really good they were um, looking perfect little bit more tomato sauce right there on top then some cilantro and a little bit of the scallions and of course a nasturtium and I pulled the petals off of there because I do enjoy eating those little petals I showed you how to grow those as a matter of fact I've shown you how to grow most of these ingredients and I put a little bit of sour cream on there just to kind of cool everything down and dug in and it was really delicious and like I said this would really be so easy to make even if you just went to the grocery store and bought these ingredients and so maybe you can give this a try if you enjoyed the video please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up also feel free to head on over to my channel where i have a playlist section with a lot of other recipes to give you more ideas of how you can use your garden ingredients thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day